Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. So I created this cranberry fall wintery full face makeup using viral products on TikTok and YouTube. And I love it because it's like this cranberry wearable eye look with a more mauve winter lip. And all these products are viral on TikTok and YouTube and I know exactly why because they are so good. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. And so here's a little close-up of the eye look. It's this like cranberry shimmery eye look. It's pretty wearable. Pops of color and the shadows blend it out like butter. So we'll just jump right into the tutorial. Skin prep is your most important step in your makeup routine. So I wash my face. And then I put on my Merit Great Skin Serum. This stuff is so good. I'm using it up so fast. It's just a really good overall hyaluronic acid. Nice to mind face serum. Then I'm going to go with this French moisturizer. I do not know how to say the name, but I have it linked below. It's on my Amazon, Amazon storefront. It's just so good. It's a super moisturizing, very... It just feels super elegant rich you just need this moisturizer a lot of pro makeup artists use it and it's just a very rich good moisturizer and since this one is so moisturizing i will put this on my face and i will give it time to soak in um i have oily combination skin and so this still doesn't cause me to be like a whole slippery greasy mess it's just so good to wear underneath your foundation. It makes your foundation just like so good. I don't even know. You just have to try it and you'll understand. You'll be like, wow, this is a really good moisturizer. It's perfect for under makeup. It has the perfect texture and it's just really good. Do not judge a product by its packaging. The packaging is like, looks like grandma's moisturizer. And then after that's set in for a few minutes, I'm going to go in with my Morphe SPF 30. BFF SPF 30, this stuff is so good. Also, like a lotion, skin protection is so essential in your makeup routine and your skincare routine. And I love having an SPF mixed in with a primer, but I'm telling you that is one step that you cannot skip. You cannot have no SPF in your daily makeup or skincare routine. And I'm talking real SPF, not the SPF that comes in your foundation. That is not a real sun blocker. Just think of the sun constantly x-raying your face every day in little doses. And if you're not protecting it with SPF, that's going to x-ray your face. And that radiation is really going to start showing in a couple years. So SPF, real SPF, very important. I love the way this one feels on my skin. It's like a super soft lotion. And it's a drugstore and super affordable. Next is another drugstore foundation. This is the Catrice True Skin in the shade Neutral Sand. You can get this on Amazon. I love that Catrice started selling products on Amazon because when I used to try and buy these at Ulta, when they were sold at Ulta, they were always out of my shade and always sold out. And now you can get it in like two days from Amazon which is awesome. It's like the same price. I want to say it's like $10, $11 for their foundations. And the other one, the HD foundation, the all matte one, is also a really, really good one. This one applies like second skin. This was viral on TikTok for very good reasons. And I personally just love this foundation. The Smashbox Primer Water in my Beauty Blender and drench it. And then press in my foundation. This really helps with longevity, getting rid of those brush marks, and just really pressing your makeup into your skin. Now 
is when I get to play with my new products. So some of these products are new and some of them aren't. They're just products I picked up because I've been convinced reading the reviews and watching people use them that they are probably worth it. So this is a concealer by NARS. This comes in a little pot like this. I've never owned a concealer like this. I've only owned liquid concealers. So I'm excited because I have a breakout here on my chin. I break out in this area. I'm an OR nurse, constantly wearing a mask, getting breakouts. And I want to see if this is as good as covering up those painful red dots as I think it was Michaela on TikTok. She uses this for that. So I'm going to put this on, I think, with my finger. That's definitely not the most hygienic way. You do not ever want to dip your finger into a product. But I will only be using this on myself. And you know what? No. I'm going to go with the concealer brush. I'm just going to dab it in and then dot it on my chin. And we'll see if this is even the right shade. Because I was having a hard time picking out a shade that was mine. Oh my goodness. That is my shade and it totally covered up that redness. Holy cow. Um, I think I just dotted it away. Wow. Is there any out there? And that's like my perfect shade. Wow. Proud of myself, picking out the winners. This is literally blending in and covering up. So good, it does not look like it's sitting on top at all. It actually looks just like my foundation, just like extended. But um, hiding the redness, I'm gonna see if I can conceal. I have these two moles right here. I'm gonna see if I can conceal those. No, well, no, not as much, but that's, it's working on redness. But wow, I wouldn't use this underneath my eye just because it's in like a paint hot formation, I mean formulation, but um, for covering up zits like that, it does a really good job. This one's really textured in 3D. And I feel like the more I tap it, the more I'm like tapping the product off. But there. Wow. All right. Um, definitely an expensive product. And literally, I only have like maybe two or three huge zits every now and then that I want to cover up. Um, there are cheaper options out there but I do like the product. I do think it works. I can see why people will absolutely love it, why it's the ride or die. Um, now I have my foundation. I'm gonna go with another concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I've heard so much about this. I This is pricier than uh, Tarte Shape Tape, which I've been using for a very long time. But this one, you get more product, you get You get 0.33 fluid ounces and Tarte Shape Tape, and you get 0.45 and Too Faced. Um, it comes in a bigger bottle and has the same kind of applicator. I've just heard people rave about this concealer. I've never tried it, but I was like, you know what? Sephora is having their 20% off sale, and I have gift cards, so I'm going to see if this concealer is worth it. It's actually got a different applicator than Tarte Shape Tape. The, um, it's like more of a spoon. So that's interesting. So I'm gonna just conceal a little bit here. On my nose, bringing up my nose just a little bit. And then out here. On my chin. Well, actually, I'm not doing my chin because I just put the other concealer there. 
And so it comes out, there's a lot of product that comes out, and I've been wiping it, if you can see it there. Which is not, which means I'm gonna start dirtying up my concealer, but a little on my forehead. I just don't wanna be like super heavy with it. And down my nose. And then I'm gonna let this dry for 30 seconds. That's how you get the most coverage out of your concealer. And I'm also gonna get it wet with some primer water. I love the way this is blending with my foundation. It's like lighter, but not too light. I had trouble as well selecting a shade with this concealer. I just don't like the pink undertones on me. And I'm gonna go down my nose with this as well. So far, so good. Um, I'm going to try and go ahead and set that. First, I'm going to set it with the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder. This is in the shade Fair Light and my Ariel A14 brush. I'm going to try and get the creases out. So that way I'm not setting all my creases. Maybe I wore this white press translucent powder and I'm going to go in again with the same brush and just really set that. Setting your under eye with a press powder and a loose powder is the best way to get that flawless under eye and prevent creasing. Even though people talk about not creasing, the physics behind your eyelids, they're you're gonna crease. There's and there's nothing wrong with it. Like, you know, like that area is that's an eye fold. Like, that's a natural wrinkle. It's there for a reason. And it's okay if you crease. It's just, like, try your best, you know, use the products that are gonna, like, really emphasize it. But creasing is totally normal. That's a normal thing with makeup. And then I'm going to set my upper eyelid. And... Then I get to go with my other makeup product that is the Rare Beauty. This is the bronzer stick, bronzer stick called Full of Life. This shade was sold out on Sephora, it probably still is. But I got this in store and I'm so excited to use it. So I do not draw directly on my face. I feel like that never gives the best results. So I'm going to put this in the back of my hand like that and I'm going to dip my brush into it and then pat it on my base. And the brush I'm going to be using is the Ariel A58, shaped like that. And I'm just going to tap it in. And then I'm going to start on my forehead. giving off it's so like easy to pat out that was insanely easy that was insanely easy just applying some more to the back of my hand tapping my brush into it and tapping it on my forehead Blending out like a dream. And the funny thing is, is that the center of my forehead is super bright because of that concealer. So it looks a little very contourous. Contourous, is that a word? And then, oh my goodness, this is amazing. 
I'm just gonna tap it here along the side of my face. And bring it up here into my... I like to bring my bronzer onto my um, temples. I feel like it looks so natural doing that. I know some people don't bronze their temples, but... And it's drying on the back of my hand very matte, and I love that because I don't like my cream bronzers to have a, like, glowiness to them because I want to uh, add the glow. And that was amazing. Okay, I'm going to add some to my lower jaw, nothing crazy, just adding a little something here. And then I'm going to try something. I'm going to try and do my nose. And I am loving this bronzer. Oh my god, my foundation like didn't budge. I am super bronzed. It's drying on the back of my hand, very matte. I'm loving this. I do think that I went a little crazy down here by my jaw, so I'm just gonna blend it down. I don't know what I'm gonna do down here. I'm just gonna tap in my foundation brush. I don't wanna look crazy. All right, so now I'm just gonna grab my foundation brush and just tap up in here because I don't want it to be up there. So the thing on my packet, this packaging too, is that the lid just slides right on. And I love that click and it's super cute. So now I just wanna take my Fit Me powder with my puff. Actually, no. I'm going to go in with the One Size Translucent Powder. I'm just going to tap it on my sponge here, tap it off back of my hand, and I'm going to go back in down here. I ordered the Rare Beauty Happy um, Liquid Blush. I cannot wait. And the highlighter. So I'll do another video of products that I'm trying. And then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and put that translucent powder on my forehead. Kind of just gonna set all that bronzer and my foundation with this. And that bronzer is shining through this translucent powder beautifully to where it's like you don't need a powder bronzer, but using cream products underneath your powders. So if I went on top with a powder bronzer, just makes your makeup last so much more. But this like is absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed. I'm really not a fan of liquid bronzers. Like I tried out the Tarte one, or not Tarte ones, the e.l.f. ones, and I was like, okay, yeah, like... They're good, but I don't think they like, they didn't blend out right my foundation. They weren't like, to me, that amazing. And I can see exactly why this Rare Beauty one is so viral. I mean, the way these foundation, this foundation, the concealer, the bronzer stick, everything that's going together, like. So another really hyped up product was this blush, the Sephora Flirt It Up. This is supposed to be what Arielle uses on Kylie. And it's good. It's like a good blush. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try. 
I'm going to go ahead and go in with this. I mean, it's really good. Um, but I don't know. I don't think it's that crazy good, but it is good. If you know what I'm saying. Like, it's not like my number one blush. But I do love the fact it's matte. And it is really pretty and vibrant. And it gives you that perfect, like, rosy cheek. The work Christmas party coming up and it's gonna be funny because I'm gonna wear a full face and makeup and they're gonna be like girl you're wearing too much makeup and I'm gonna be like that is who I am if you only knew me in the real world okay love to go heavy with my blush and I'm trying to think of viral highlighters oh I have one a viral highlighter would be the Charlotte Tilbury um, highlighting wand and I don't think it's that great like it's okay but I don't think it's like there's like there's definitely better liquid highlighters out there and it's like not horrible but it's not like the best thing that's ever happened to me if you know what I'm saying like, so I'm just gonna put this on my sponge and like tap it on my cheeks. I don't like to put liquids on top of powders, but with highlighters, I feel like it's like the only exception. And I mean, look at that. Like, yeah, it's pretty. It's not blending out as much as I want it to, so I'm just gonna keep tapping. And I know some people will literally like freak out because they think every Charlotte Tilbury product is just the best. And like, yeah, they are really good products, but like for how much they are, I just feel like you can find an affordable product that's going to look like on the face. It's not going to look, it's going to look good and you didn't spend that much is what I'm saying. Because like, yeah, this is a pretty highlighter but I also I like the merit one I think it does a really good job does like the same thing and so yeah I'm highlighted definitely viral on TikTok totally made me buy it and when I got it I was just like eh I mean it's good it's not um you know but a product I love that's not viral is the Laura Mercier 01 highlighter at first I was like, oh, this is not that much of a good highlight because it's like a matte highlighter, if that makes any sense. But it is the most perfect natural glow where you're gonna have this like highlighted look but not look like you're trying that hard for it. And I just put some highlighter on my pimple, so the pimple I just concealed is going to be shiny for real. Don't do that. Then I'm going to go with my soft focus powder. Of course, I love this stuff. It's a dupe for the hourglass powders. And I'm going to put this underneath my eyes, blend it out a little bit. I just love the way the, like, Soft focus powder in my eyes just makes me look so glowy, especially when I put the setting spray on top and pat it through. Everything will just melt together. Personally, I absolutely love the LA Girl Shockwave lip liner. These are so good. I have so many shades. I also love NYX Nude Suede lip liners. Pretty much any NYX lip liner is really good. Um, these are definitely viral on TikTok as well. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do my brows. Um, not viral, but should be, is the ColourPop Brow Pencils. They are phenomenal, super affordable, and just flat out amazing. And I'm using the shade Ash Brown. And so a lot of companies have dupes for brow gels, 
brow waxes. So this is the Supreme Brow Clear Gel by Morphe. I absolutely love it. And I'm just going to give myself that Gen Z brow. All right, so back to lips. I talked about my last video. I don't have it with me right now because it's in my purse, but I have the peach, peach, peach tea lip gloss, but now I have cherry blossom. Cherry blossoms is a beautiful mauve pink shade. And so for lip liner, because my other favorite lip liner is Natural by NYX, and that's also in my purse, and I don't feel like getting it right now, I am going to use... NYX Cabernet. All right, so I'm gonna use NYX Cabernet. This is a brown lip liner. And then I'm gonna go in with the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. This stuff is absolutely amazing. This is my second one. None of this is sponsored. This is just my own opinions. And this lip gloss is viral on TikTok and I totally could see why. So I'm gonna overline my lips. Just my Cupid's bow. And I'm going to keep my natural sides. I'm now going to go in with this beautiful plumping lip gloss. This totally plumps your lips too. It is a dream. Look at that. I feel like a Barbie. I do like the peach tea one because it's like a neuter color. So juicy and plumping and shiny and perfect. All right, so now it's time for the eyes since I'm having so much fun using viral new makeup. These products are new. I'm not sure if they're viral. They're pretty viral on YouTube because as like, of course, the Sazer Lily Hills formula and everything about her palettes kill it every single time. So, this is her Rose Metals palette. I have so many tutorials using this palette. And I have the Nouveau palette. So, I think I'm just going to mix these two together. And I want to do a very wearable, everyday eye look. Like, I'm, I'm that kind of person. I want, like, a clean eye look. I mean, I've created some dramatic looks using these palettes, and today I want the clean, natural vibe. So, all right, so in the this, uh, Rose Metals palette, I'm going to take a blending brush. This is an Ariel A11. I'm going to go with the shade Sun Rose. Sun Rose right there. It's a nice, warm, orange, burnt, little bit of shimmer crease shade. I'm going to blend that right into my crease. Definitely coming out true to color, very orange, burnt color. As always, blending out like a dream. Love, love, love. All right, so now I'm gonna take the shade Done, D-U-N, on a ColourPop, or sorry, Sigma E25, and I'm gonna blend this along my outer V. Oh, she is dark. So this everyday eye look is now turning into a dramatic smoky eye, which is okay, you know? Blending out so effortlessly. Just like blending this out into my outer V and it's just like done already. Like her formulas are absolutely insane.
All right. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take that shade and blend it underneath my eye here. I love the way this is looking with my lips. It's becoming like a perfect fall, wintery eye look. All right, so my favorite shade ever is the shade Lilai, and that's a beautiful Nouveau palette. Lilai is right there. Lilai is so stinking pretty. Literally, like one of the prettiest shades. So I'm gonna grab my finger and I'm just gonna apply this here. So look at that shimmer. I have a tutorial using this shade, but like you cannot. I cannot get over how much I love that shade. Alright, I'm gonna go to the other eye. Stunning. It's like the most wearable, shimmery pink you will ever come across. Okay, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of Element, which is that darker shade here in the Rosemills palette. I'm just gonna tap that at the end here, just to give it a more dimensional look. I'm gonna go in with some black eyeliner and my inner waterline. This is my favorite, the Urban Decay. Perversion. Take a little highlighting brush, and this is the JH38. Again, with Laura Mercier Highlight 01. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. And my brow bone. Before I go with mascara, I'm going to set my face with the Maybelline Make It Last Setting Powder. I'm going to protect my eyes. And wait till it's about 50% dry. And then I'm going to pat it in with my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to apply some Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I love this mascara. This mascara was also viral on TikTok. And so important to do your bottom lashes. Alright guys, this is the completed look. This is the viral full face makeup fall winter glam look. And I loved all these products. I will have everything linked below. If there's any viral products you think I should check out, please comment them, and I will see you in my next tutorial.